y'all. It is May 26th. It is currently a Sunday and we're starting off the day by going to the Avalon and we're gonna go to Crate and Barrel and possibly get some food from Whole Foods. Um, my dad keeps telling me that their hot bar is really good so I think we've tried it before though. I never have. Really? I think I have um, a couple summers ago but their pizza is also good but unfortunately I've been feeling really shitty these past few days because I've been eating really bad so hopefully I can get some like really nutritious stuff at the hot bar um and what else are we gonna do at the Avalon is that about it Crate and Barrel yeah I said that. That? yeah uh, maybe Pottery Barn um, basically Apple just kind store. of for what just look around yeah. oh okay there's no Apple stores in Austin. It's really yes, there is. He keeps telling me that there's like no blank in Austin and I'm <laughs> getting so mad. At first he told me that there's no Chick-fil-A in Austin. And I was like, what the heck? And I literally believed him for a solid like two weeks before I Googled it. And then I Googled it and I was like, I'm so dumb. Why did I there's ever believe you? <laughs> one single Sephora in Austin. All right, all right. Now we know he's lying. Look it up. Well, it's all about organically grown makeup. What the Sephora hell? does not do that. Yes, they do. They have clean products now. Anyways, um, I guess we have like a lot to update y'all on though because we haven't vlogged since the beach and that was about a week ago. Um, and now time is kind of ticking on our big move. Maybe a week from today. Seriously? Yeah, Sunday. Oh yeah, my god, I'm gonna barf. Like, I'm ready just to like have a place and like have a routine and just be like stable. I don't know, I just like, I'm stable. craving stability right now. <laughs> but um, other than that, like I know it's gonna be a very stressful thing to go through. Um, I just kind of want it to like be done with and like I want to get it over with. We have a little bit on our bucket list for Atlanta things to do. So we might do like an Atlanta day before we leave. So hopefully I'll vlog that because I love we have to have those days. memories. You can pick one of the days to do it. I think Thursday I'm playing golf, so. kitchen because as you guys know I lived in an off-campus apartment my freshman and sophomore year and I did have a kitchen but I also had sorority meal plans so I didn't really need to cook at all um, and then junior and senior year I lived in the sorority house where I didn't have a kitchen at all so it's gonna be so weird and so nice to have a kitchen I've been trying to learn how to cook if you guys follow me on Instagram you know that I've been going through my hashtag adulting camp because my parents are trying to teach me how to cook and everything else that they can like Cram in my mind week. for two weeks. So I'm really excited to get kitchen stuff because for some reason I have this odd like obsession with kitchen gadgets. I already have like an avocado thing and I think it's really cool. So we'll see what else we come up with. Hopefully I don't spend too much money on kitchen gadgets. So I don't like espresso that much, but like I kind of want one of these that I had at your dad's house. It was good coffee. But I kind of like I love cold brew, especially in the hot summer. Yeah, that's so cool. Like a, Sits in your fridge. Regular hundred dollars for like, like this. Yeah. You get two of these, right? And then the canter. <laughs> you made the canter. We just got inspired by our theme. Um, if you guys didn't know, my best friend Laura, who lives in New York now, um, she made my mood board for my senior year room. I think it was senior year, or it was the previous year, or both, I don't remember. But basically, I was like, oh, you have to do it again for my new apartment. She was like, okay, hey, just like let me know a theme. And I didn't know what the hell I was going to do, but now I think we got it. I'm going to insert the picture like right here. It's pretty much like black and brown and white. I think it's like really like masculine and obviously trendy for me too right now so I think that's what we're probably going to strive for and I feel really good about that at least having like a idea in my head mm. um, obviously there's some things that our parents are just going to give us that we won't have a choice in um, but hopefully like the exterior things on the kitchen counter will be 
that vibe. So our next pit stop is at our house. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Not that we can afford anything in here, we're just we're looking for inspo. inspo. Yeah. And then we're gonna go over to Whole Foods and get some food. Yeah. Let's do it. I gotta get Ryan more t-shirts because now all he's wearing is KD shirts. And I oh, feel I like it's weird for me to wear a KD shirt, so I stopped kind of. Except like for if I'm just chilling at home, I'll wear a KD shirt, but now, like, when we go out, he always wears, like, his t-shirts that I got him from, like, formals and stuff like that. And I feel like people don't take him, take us seriously. Because, like, they don't think they we're still in means. college. What? I don't they know what this is. I mean, it, I guess, it. but I don't know. I feel like I'm just... So when you go to, like, H&M, you get a bunch of plain t-shirts. Yeah, we should do that. Want to go today? Okay. All right. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, say hi. Outside of Whole Foods Avalon here with my boy Ryan. This is Brian. He works at Whole Foods. <laughs> What'd you get to drink? Um, tropical blend Italian soda. And I got soda. kombucha. That's where I got water. Yeah. Healthy boy. I wanted to try this out, and he said this was gonna be like. A really sweet one, so decided to go for the mango. And we got pizza, and then we got this spicy tuna avocado sushi. So we will try this out. This looks very interesting. We were like very skeptical, but good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday it is May 28th. We skipped over Memorial Day just because it was kind of like a lazy day. We swam in the pool and ate some really good food. Um, but today we are starting off the vlog at Starbucks, and then we were gonna go to Home Depot because. Ryan's family was like cleaning out their shed and they found this, um, what is it? Well, Sorry, I don't know. It's like a... Cabinet, like a yeah. kitchen cabinet kind of thing. Um, and so they were just telling us we could like repaint it and like, you know, just renovate it. Customize it. Yeah, customize it. So we're gonna go check out like paint and then also like knobs and handles for it. Um, and then I'll kind of do a little before and after. The after probably won't be done by the time this vlog goes up because it will probably take way longer than that. But I'll definitely show you guys the before and then we can see the after in one of my later vlogs. Um, so yeah. So this is my Starbucks order. Ice white mocha with salted cold foam. It's so good. I feel like the most recent times I've gotten this, the coffee wasn't as sweet as usual. It's sad because I like sweet coffee. I got almond milk in mine. Do you think I'm like intolerant? So I'm going to try yes. it out. <laughs> I got my dairy pills ready for me. Nimbus cloud. Hey y'all, it's actually a couple days later and I wanted to kind of end the vlog. We're at Home Depot getting um, the knobs for the dresser thing. Ow. Uh -huh. Um, and we haven't really done much about that yet, so, and we have another update. <laughs> um, pretty much we're not leaving on June 1st. We don't really know when. Some family stuff came up, so, um, we're probably going to leave a little bit later. But, I'll try to keep you guys updated on the vlogs. Um, I definitely want to vlog more. I've literally been doing nothing. Um... <laughs> So that's why I haven't really vlogged much, because like literally I've not been doing anything. But Ryan, I play golf today. Yeah. My new clubs. Yeah. Right now I'm going to a local Mexican restaurant to meet my hometown friends. Is it not local? Yes. Yeah, no. Funny. <laughs> um, and I'm going to meet them there. We're gonna have dinner. I'm so excited. I don't know what to get. What do you recommend, Ryan? I've only been there once and it was a really long time ago. But he goes there like all the time. What do I get? Fish tacos. Hmm. Are they better than La Puria Taqueria? 
I'm very excited because I just got my ColourPop um, shipment in today. I bought so much stuff under $100, so I want to make a whole video about that. Hopefully, I'm going to film it tomorrow um, and just show you guys what all I bought because I'm really excited. I literally found the perfect brown lipstick and the perfect brown lip liners, and they're so freaking cheap. Like, it makes me want to cry. Like, opening up the box, I literally almost had tears in my eyes, but I don't know if it's, like, the allergies or what. But anyways, I'm going to get going. It's not that far away, but um, it is time to go. So this is the current life situation. Last night, I just went to my mom's um, and picked up, like, literally everything at my mom's. Well, not everything, but the things I'm going to take to Austin. Um, and so I have a bike in the back because when Ryan went to golf this morning I tried to empty everything out, but like the bike would not come out by myself So I'm gonna wait till he can help me currently everything is in Ryan's shed and we still have to get stuff for my dad's so And that's like all the furniture stuff because I just got new furniture last um, summer um, I posted like a, my new bedroom vlog so go check it out if you're wondering what furniture I'm taking but it's just like a desk, a chair, and a bed and a mattress. Um, so not too much, but obviously it's gonna take up space in the U-Haul. I'm not sure if we like really mentioned this or said anything about like how we were thinking of getting to Austin, but basically we are driving there because um, we need our cars. And originally we didn't really want to take a U-Haul and we wanted to buy like all new furniture, all new things, just like pack up my car, pack up his and drive. Um, but we decided that probably wasn't smart, um, so we are taking a U-Haul now, and I'm really relieved, honestly, because I actually feel like we're saving so much. Yes, the U-Haul is quite expensive, but I feel like the cost of the furniture definitely is, like, outweighing it, so I am very happy that we're doing it, um, and Ryan's mom is planning on driving the U-Haul, so, like, we don't really have to worry about it, which is nice. A little update on houses and apartments and stuff like that um, I've been finding like really really good deals online like Facebook ads and stuff like that and then we have a realtor so we asked her to find out more information and literally like they lie to you on these Facebook ads and it's so frustrating because it's like oh my god a beautiful place for like okay maybe a little over our budget but we can swing it and then find out that it's like not even close to our budget and it just breaks my heart because I want like a really nice place and like I know I don't have all the money in the world to s get a nice place. I don't have a job currently and so I will be at home majority of the time for now until I get a job so I just don't, I don't know, I just do a lot of my work at home like I edit YouTube videos I want like a nice computer room office kind of thing so I don't know. I'm just hoping that there's a miracle and it just turns out really great or like the ones that are okay looks better in person which sometimes does happen so um but i'm gonna go into this restaurant and i'll talk to you guys later thank you say hi <laughs> So I just got back from dinner and I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna edit this for y'all. I'm excited for my moving vlogs and I hope you guys will follow along with my journey. If you guys aren't already subscribed, definitely do it because a bunch of fun vlogs are coming up. And comment down below your favorite thing to get at a Mexican restaurant. Mine's mostly always fish tacos, but tonight, oh my God, did you guys see that? Like, did you guys see my freaking story? It was literally like fish sticks and a tortilla. I hate when they do that. Like at least add some other stuff, like not just like some onions and some sauce and fish sticks in my taco, no. Anyways, rant over and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.